This short video shows how to properly position and secure Nanin 6000CI and CN series cloth and 7000I and 7000N Plexiform 3 series sensors for infants and neonates. These cloth and Flexiform 3 series sensors are a one-piece sensor with an integrated cable designed for single patient use. They are designed to secure the sensor in position on the foot or toe without additional tape. These sensors may also be used for adult or pediatric finger oxygen saturation and pulse measurement. See the video for finger use for placement instructions. Additional adhesives or tapes may compromise signal quality and may cause damage to the sensor. Each sensor has an emitter that projects a tuned light wave pattern through the arterial blood flowing in the finger and a detector which receives that light. The heartbeat creates a signal detectable throughout the arteries. This signal is detected by the light waves and used for both measuring pulse rate and oxygen saturation in the arterial blood. The emitter and detector must be directly facing each other and secured to provide accurate measurement. These infant and neonate sensors are designed for use with a wide range of non-in oximeters. Remember, non-in brand sensors are designed for use with non-in brand pulse oximeters only. Do not use these sensors with other brand pulse oximeters, which may provide inaccurate results. Wash and dry the foot where the sensor will be placed. Heavy lotions, sunscreens, oils, and dirt may alter the accuracy of the sensor, so start with a clean, dry toe or foot. Nanin 6000 cloth sensors use cloth material for easy placement. The cloth sensor may also be used for frequent repositioning. Nanin Flexiform 3 series use microfoam for additional comfort and secure placement in extended monitoring situations. The soft, cushioning material is comfortable to the application site. For both types, simply remove the adhesive backing so the sensor adhesive is exposed. For placement on the large toe of an infant over 4 pounds in weight, place the adhesive and detector portion on the bottom center of the toe, with the cable running back toward the heel. Now, wrap the sensor on top of the toe, placing the emitter on the top of the toe, across from the detector on the bottom of the toe. Gently wrap the tab around the toe to overlap and secure the sensor to the toe. It's a good idea to gently secure the sensor cable in independently from the sensor along the bottom of the foot toward the heel. For placement on the foot of a neonate 4 or less pounds in weight, place the cable portion on the bottom center of the foot at the base of the toes, with the cable running back toward the heel. Now, wrap the sensor on top of the foot aligning the top portion with the sensor portion on the bottom of the foot. It's a good idea to gently secure the sensor cable independently from the sensor along the bottom of the foot or at the ankle, depending on the foot size. For both infants or neonates, don't wrap the sensor or tape too snugly. Tight wrapping can restrict blood flow and affect sensor accuracy. You're ready to plug the sensor into the non-in pulse oximeter to measure oxygen saturation and pulse rate. Non-in pulse oximeters have a pulse signal quality display that measures the sensor signal. If the signal is low, the emitter and detector may not be in proper alignment. Reposition the sensor to see if a stronger signal can be obtained. If repositioning does not increase the signal quality, try a different site or check that the patient's foot is warm, relaxed, and well perfused. Check the sensor position and connection every 6 to 8 hours or per your institutional policy. Also, check for skin irritation and loosening of the adhesive from movement over time. To remove the sensor, simply disconnect from the oximeter and reverse the direction of the tape wrap to gently remove from the foot or toe. You may want to rotate to the other foot to maintain skin integrity and patient comfort. 
You may reuse the sensor on the same patient as long as the pulse signal quality is good and the adhesive and cloth or foam is intact. However, do not use the sensor on a different patient and do not clean 6000C or 7000 series sensors. They are designed for single patient use. You can find additional use information on this and other Nonin products at www.nonin.com. Thank you.